Today on the Euro Truck Podcast. XCOM 2 gets delayed. Prison Architect's final alpha is out now. And Twitch is actually progressing through Dark Souls? Hello and welcome to the Euro Truck Podcast with I, Andrew C. And Jefferson B. Me. Person. Might be, variety. might be a doctor, perhaps, maybe. Mm. Never know. Dr. Uber Shadow is currently inside the uh, European League of Legends servers. Virtually, at least. He's actually on the North American servers. I'm on my side. I was trying to be clever about how the fact that Uber Shadow was playing League of Legends while we were doing Eurochuck, and this is the thanks I get. I'm coming to see this. This is, this is my lot in life. I would like to know how you did that. I would like to know as well. You know what it is? It's these stupid hexagonal stone curves. Why you gotta be like that? Well, I thought maybe I could roll you more. Hold on. <laughs> so, welcome back to the Euro Truck Podcast with I Andrew C and Jefferson B. And, and Dr. Uber Shadow. Who is still in the great world of League of Legends. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, Uber Shadow, what are you playing as right over there? I can't talk right now. I see. He must be. Uh, he must be hard in battle. Yep, long and hard battles shall be fought, and we shall get all of the one-sided commentary from Doctor Uber Shadow this match. Correct. Oh dear! I looked at my Mac, and then I just plowed into a wall. Way to go! Uh, I did not roll over though, so that's that's good. Hey, right? you're, do you're doing better than myself right now. That's all I can say. That ain't saying much, but it's all Have I can you say. Have caught up to me? I yet? am right behind you. Oh, there you are. It's going kind of slow because I didn't know where you were. Uh, I have looked it up. This is why I was, uh, why I crashed because I went and looked something up. What? what is this the way you get on? What's uh, the way? yes. Uh, yes. Yes. This is. This we're not is in Europe. Episode. That's the key thing we were ha had to remember here. Uh, I, I, I did a look and uh, Uber Shadow is playing Evelyn. Ah, you were spectating him. Nope. Nope. Just, uh, I just opened up the web one of those web pages that lets you look up things like that oh uh, I didn't even know that they, that's a thing yeah oh cool I didn't you know used that. to do it through uh, law King but then law yeah. King went and disabled it because they wanted to update it but then never updated it so now you just you just kind of use uh, there's either law Nexus I'm currently using uh, uh, cus quick find Cassad. Gotcha. Uh, I have a paper blocking that part of my URL, so I had to lift it up, and then I, which meant taking my hand off my controller, which meant ramming into you. Wait, go. Uh, the reason I used this one is because I had it bookmarked, so made it kind of easy to just click it. What? What are there? Leaving you in the dust. I like that there's that a tunnel. Like following a tunnel. Well, yeah, it's a mountain. Following a mountain, and then there's Actually, another, no, an and then there's a third tunnel. Uh, I looked behind myself to figure out what that was, and, and uh -oh. I, I almost died. We're gonna coming on a fourth down. tunnel. Yep. Hold your breath. <gasps> there are many tunnel. Engine <sighs> malfunction. Toll plaza. Uh, how please many, make it to. Please make it to zero. How many damage do you have? Thirty-five. Uh, I'm at twenty-nine. Yeah, I fear as if I might. To 36, sorry. Uh, so it's the, this tunnel is under construction. What? 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 Okay, actually, actually, so it's not even a tunnel. The actually, gate, the gate literally went up and then went right back down again, right in front of me. So you have to pay the toll again? Yes. Wow. All, all 23 euros of it. That's lame. That is lame. That is the, the make make me sad. Why I gotta be like that? You, why do you always have problems with toll gates? Dude, it's my lot in life. Like, it's just that, that just is, to have issues with toll gates. It's that is that is my curse. I, I got somebody at angry I got some some person angry at me and this is what they cursed me with. May you forever have difficulty at toll booths. I am not good at navigating these uh, uh, this tunnel. Also it's a very curved tunnel. <laughs> I mean it's a tunnel. you just kind of keep driving straight except for me right now. Oh jeez, I almost flipped on my side. It's a bit ironic there. Yeah. Anyway, so now that we're through, nope, never mind. One more tunnel. But since we're in tunnels, <laughs> uh, do we wanna do we wanna get to some news topics? Sure. Uh, 
While scouring the internet, I discovered that XCOM 2 is going the way of GTA 5. Oh no, wait, so it's going to have an online multiplayer that you're going to have to ping to every time you want to play the game? Uh, I have no clue about that. I was more thinking about the, all the delays that GTA 5 for the PC had. Oh. They said originally that GTA 5 for the PC was going to come out in November. And then they said it was going to come out in the end of January. And then it came out in the end of April. Well, XCOM 2, if you were looking forward to that, is not going to be released until February 5th at the moment. Oh dear. So it has moved from coming out in November of this year to coming out February 5th of this year. Mm. And uh, I am going to go ahead and make the uh, bold prediction here. You heard it first here at Ghost Inc. That this game will come out in November of 2016. Ooh. Or, November? Uh, no, April, sorry. April okay, 2016. That was, that was oh, what I wanted. I mean, you're welcome to guess. Ah, 72 damage. I'm going to make it. I'm going to... I'm not going to make it. So they, they gave very similar reasons to uh, Rockstar as why it's not coming out. They said they needed more time and whatnots. Hmm. What, uh, what company is making XCOM 2? That's What's an excellent studio? question. I will look it up and get back to you. All right. Oh, Our research Engine department malfunction. is still unavailable, so this is making this is making spur of the moment questioning quite difficult. The XCOM 2 is developed by Fire Axis Games. Is Fire Axis in any way affiliated with Rockstar? I don't believe so. Didn't think so. Uh, My engine's malfunctioning. I again. believe it's it's the same company that does Sid Meier's. Civilization, is it now? I believe so. I it's the same, okay. same, same company. Interesting. I can either confirm or deny these allegations. Either way, that's mm. that's who does so, it. So, shall we move on to games that are already existing in the world? Yeah, we probably should. Uh, if you paid attention to a podcast in the past, we talked about Prison Architect going uh, and leaving the alpha stage, uh, or which is also early access, and it finally will become a finished game. Uh, and it will be that in October. So uh, version okay. 1.0 will come out in October. Huh. Supposedly this is going to be a very, a very in-depth game with just a lot of rich content and things and just stuff to do. Yep. Stuff to build and systems that will exist. The last uh. set of like big things that weren't quite done yet were added... Uh, in this last alpha that just came, would have just came out, um, and I have just, I have just knackered it in this construction area. Oh dear. I I managed to get myself righted, but oh, that's uh, good. is this very much reminiscence of uh, 81, where it's the lanes shrink down? Oh yeah, no, I'm approaching on there right now. I'm literally about to, about to come right up on you, about but to ram because me. my well, I've got I've got to be really careful actually because I'm at like 72 percent damage. Uh, I'm at 46 now. I I ran into one of those little stick barricades. Oh, and it was made of it was made of titanium. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. which made it quite difficult. So, uh, yep. but yeah, feeling. the the last alpha for Prison Architect is out now, mm -hmm. and uh, the next any updates that it will receive going forward will be to the actual full game now so it'll be just rant regular uh, game updates from now on instead That'd of be really interesting big I'm not sure changes. I would necessarily want to play a game where it's it like it feels kind of like any of the tycoon games but for adults basically that is that's um, a pretty good uh, pretty good descriptor of how that game is but at the same time I mean like I mean well, I could see I could see there being some merit in it I think it would be interesting at least right hey so let's go to burn it's the next okay. city after Zerk. Okay, I'll just I'll, I'm following you at this point, which means don't speed away from me. So, but anyway, um, speaking of games where you build stuff. Yeah, we we talked previously many times about City Skylines After Dark, and uh, mm -hmm. they have now thrown a trailer out to get your all all of your goodness of trailerness. I, I I'm a fan of trailers actually. I I will so heavily judge a game based on the quality of its trailer. I do the same thing with Kickstarters. If you don't have a good video if you if you don't put time and effort into giving me some sort of snapshot presentation we have a problem yeah it also does no a good no job like of... we literally have a problem my engine just malfunctioned again oh rest in peace your engine um 
but and hey. I, I checked it out. It was uh, it was a pretty good trailer. Uh, very city skyline filled. So that's good. It's uh, something to look forward to. Although I will say from from the the footage of it, it didn't seem like it's something I really personally needed. It didn't. You know, I know it makes you know some significant changes and adds a lot of um, new specifications and whatnot. But right now, it's not not for me. I'll wait till it goes on sale. There you go. It'll be a it'll be a Steam holiday sale pickup probably. Yeah, most likely. Put in that category. I mean, it's an expansion. I am all for paying for expansions that add functionality. I think that that's a really grand idea. Um, and because the developers worked really hard at it, and so like, hey, yeah, I should be able to throw them a couple bucks for their hard work. Yeah, and I've seen you know there's some people who have complained about the fifteen dollar price, but the game itself was only thirty when it came out. Oh wow! So you're still so only you're reaching AAA titles, right? Exactly. Uh, well, you're still even uh, potentially, you know, in most cases, you're still going to be under AAA titles. Oh yeah, that's true. So, and you're still getting a lot. I mean, I'm pretty sure Sims. Uh, either the Sim, the Sim, both the Sims 4 and Sim City 2013 was it? Mm. I think it might have been. Um, both of those games were sixty dollars, I believe, when they came out. Right, but that's also an EA title. Right, it's an EA title, but City Skylines has just as much goodness to it as 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 Sim City plus some more. Mm. Like I would argue that it's a much better simulator. Than SimCity is, at least the current as, version of SimCity. As far as, far as uh, complexity, uh, availability of things you can do, manage you know your management, your your various city functions that you need to be good at managing, citizen management and whatnot. It's 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 a much more enjoyable game to play for me. And I've played SimCity and I've seen SimCity 2013, the most recent one played. And it, it just didn't it didn't really pique my interest. It, the cities are very tiny, and uh, you're you kind of just are playing with stuff for the sake of playing with stuff. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, forward. being that we are simulation experts, simulation game experts here at Ghost Inc., I think we are the world's premier authority when it comes to evaluating whether or not a city simulation game is good or not. Yeah, I feel like we can we can lay claim to that title. We we play enough simulators. I, I do believe so. I think the only one else who can uh, make those types of claims are, would be the the good old Nerd Cube. Right. He plays right. a lot of simulator games and 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 has a lot of in what are also very garbage simulators. Mm, and this is true. But Nerd Cube doesn't have a podcast. This is correct. He does not. Although so, Nerd Cube, if you're listening to this podcast, we would love to have you on the show. Absolutely. Special guests. We could do some collab. Nerd cubed. Think about it. Just think about it. That's all I'm asking. So speaking of speaking of people that are desperately clawing for something to happen, uh, Twitch plays Dark Souls, doing so much better than any of us ever expected. Yeah, just just a bit. So they've actually gone ahead and fully, you know, embraced really the the the, the whole Twitch plays thing here to really try to get this this to happen. And they were actually able to beat the Taurus Demon, which is the second major boss of the game. And that means they also beat the first major boss of the game. Is so, that what that means? I would assume so. Because whenever, like, I, I've, I've never played Dark Souls, but I've watched people play Dark Souls. And it's my understanding that you can just kind of pick a direction and head towards that direction. Well, I suppose it's possible. They may have only beaten one. But, but I mean, nevertheless, like they're still beating major bosses, which they should not have been able to do. And Did you spawn behind me, sir. I ran. I I, I tried. I exited the non no collision when while well, okay. at the same time. Oh, I, I wasn't sure if that was you or if that was somebody else. Now it's me. The way that they have been able to do this is they actually added to the game play a 20 to 30 second delay uh, after every action. So a, a typed actions specifically so not just like oh an action occurred and we wait 20 seconds so each thing that gets every command that gets put into the chat there's there's 20 seconds 20 to 30 seconds before it ever actuates so you have the ability to actually coordinate moves with other people knowing that okay the next move that's gonna happen is this 
and you have a list of them all so you know if you need to move according to a certain direction or do a specific attack or something you can right, actually make those saying, Dark Souls as a game, as a concept, it's very, not, I wouldn't say quick time heavy, but it's very combo based. So like, I need to make sure that all of my button presses are timed very specifically. And so I think that's definitely, I can see why that would help them. Um, it's just a matter of, they can't predict their enemies' moves, and so they always have to be thinking that 20 seconds ahead. Though right. apparently it's working for them. So I mean, hey, more power to them, I guess. Yeah. There you go. But uh, the other thing here, uh, the that I have discovered is that Just Cause 3 is still still on its way here and it's supposed to come out December 1st and they just released a developer video that pr showed that the game is like super super M Michael Bay simulator. See, I'm okay with that because if I if it wasn't if it didn't have any if if that if it was anything else, it would not be Just Cause 3. Right. So the the entire developer uh, video is all about explosions. So if you want to see that, go ahead and check that out at the links uh, that are in the show notes below. Uh, but that is the end of the podcast for today. Uh, Jeff, do you have any final closing thoughts? Uh, final closing thoughts, final closing thoughts. Uh, play more games. And be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe. I just remembered we have a subreddit. We do have a subreddit. Like, that's something that I, that I think we should check out. Uh, if, you, if you are NerdCubed or if you know NerdCubed, let them know that this video exists. Maybe he can contact us. Contact us at go was it Ghost Incorporated Gmail dot com. Yep, that's it. You know, or any of our any of our other emails, which are always provided on Ghost Incorporated dot com. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got. Do you have anything else, I Andrew? No, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button as well as Jeff said, and uh, you can hit that subscribe button. It's right there too. And we will see you guys next week.